You might have heard about this happening in your city or town. Thieves stealing catalytic converters right out of cars, and it's happening more often. But tonight, WBZ's Mike Sullivan introduces us to the inventor who believes he's got a solution. As long as there's a market for it, they're going to steal them. Last year, Ronald Royce got a call from a friend, panicked. And her car sounded like a dump truck. The 20-year-old welder knew instantly her catalytic converter was stolen. I was raised to be you're either part of the problem or part of the solution, Mike. I like to try to be part of the solution. That's when an idea sparked. Why not create a device to stop them? His sister pushing him to try. She stayed after me when I didn't want to do it. Now he has a provisional patent on this. They can't get it through anywhere of these. A steel cage that can be installed for a few hundred dollars a new converter can be thousands. I treat the steel with a special coating that's going to dull their sawzall blades. He modeled the original one for a Prius, but it can fit any car. The Toyota Prius, they're the most popular. There's a, a large degree of palladium. Just this week, thieves snagged a converter off this Prius in East Somerville. It's the second time the owner has been hit. He even asked police to use his vehicle as a bait car to catch them. I've never seen it anything like this. This is crazy. Let me borrow a phrase from Ronald here. It, it's a plague, and they rely on speed and stealth. So when you think about a low car, say like a Prius, how did they get under here so fast? I believe they use speed jacks. A device often seen at a NASCAR pit stop. They're floor jacks. It's got to be a two-man operation. Royce hopes his device will push the thieves onto the next car. I would say to him that there's a lot better ways out there to make money without destroying people's lives and pocketbooks. In Somerville, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.